Good morning and a very warm welcome on this fourth Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And together we pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, friends of thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come to reflect upon the week that is past and the week that lies ahead, let us, with an openness of heart and mind, confess our sins. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil, and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed. For through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, forgive us all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we say the wonderful words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as any had need. And day by day, they, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of Peter. 
Brothers and sisters, it is a credit to you if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, where is the credit in that? But if you endure what you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He and himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls for his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him, because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So as we join with our brothers and sisters in Christ, we affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. 
we acknowledge your baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, for the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. As we gather within our dispersed community this morning, so we pray for the church and for our world. We pray for our community and for those whom we wish to pray for in the silence and stillness of this moment. Father, we pray for your church. We pray especially for the church in our diocese at this time. For Julian, Philip, and Jill, our bishops. For David and Mark, our archdeacons. And for the faithfulness of the ministry of so many in so many particular situations at this time, showing the love that God has given them to reflect and share with those whom they minister to. Pray for those who are called by God. And that at this time, for those preparing to be ordained deacon and priest. But in this time of uncertainty, when those ordinations will take place, we pray for a discerning heart and mind of our bishops and archbishops. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless Elizabeth, our Queen. Guide and direct the leaders of all nations. We pray especially for those in authority in our own country at this time, for the decisions that they have to make, that with wise counsel and understanding, they will do those right things for us as a nation. But even in this time, we also pray for peace in areas of our world so often divided and torn by war and violence. There are the known areas, but the unknown as well. Father, may your peace abound. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our community. We pray for the love that is expressed by so many at this time. And we pray for the vulnerable, the lonely, those who find this time a difficult time. Give them hope. Grant them an understanding. And may we lovingly respond when we are asked Through the generosity that you have blessed us with, may we be generous in our outpouring of the gifts that we have a share of. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who have asked for our prayers. Among those whom we pray for today, poor baby Max especially, But in a moment of stillness for those whom we are asked to pray for, and we bring them into God's presence for his love and healing touch. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, to your hands we commend all who have died in the faith of Christ. And this day, among those who we give thanks for, we remember with thanksgiving Barbara, praying for Michael, for Gary and Peter. But we also give thanks for Ken and Tommy, 
for James and Shelley. Grant them eternal rest and peace, that they may rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so in a moment of stillness and silence, we offer our own prayer. We pray for that which we are blessed with, that we may indeed encourage others. May be strengthened and guided at this time. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad with the sight of the risen Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made to have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And on this day of our redemption, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in all the image of his glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all <coughs> creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, 
his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, and rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people. Gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, of Wilfred and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, now and for ever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you taught us to call God our Father. And boldly we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died and rose for you and me. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ. blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Together with thankfulness, we use the alternative prayer. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love. 
gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free. And the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. God, the Holy Spirit, whom the risen Lord breathed into his disciples, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest down upon you to remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.